Hi guys, today we're going to do a fairy um, line drawing on top of a mushroom. Just a very simple drawing. Starting off with some white um, in the middle. This is acrylic and during this video I'm actually going to be mixing acrylic, gouache, and watercolors all together. I'm mixing a little bit of that yellow with some green and some white to kind of give me like a limish green color. Um, adding in some white to lighten it up because i didn't like the color that i ended up with and while it's still wet um i am doing this i'm trying to work a little bit fast um just adding white blending it out and then it kind of i kind of just lost a little bit of that yellow so i'm going to add a little bit more in here um and i want to center it towards the middle of the stone so that it gives me like a little bit of a lighting effect and I am using a dry brush to go ahead and pat it in. This dry brush though was a little bit textured so I did not like that. I ended up adding a little bit more white and I'm going to grab a different dry brush here in a minute, a fluffier brush, to kind of just pat that down and leave it a little bit more airbrush looking and so that it blends a little bit smoother. So what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a little bit of these neon gouaches from Wanda. Um, I, I, I've been asked if you can mix washes with regular acrylic and the answer is yes i do it all the time honestly sometimes i forget what i'm painting with just because i have so many colors on my palette i'm using a different dry brush i always keep multiple dry brushes on hand um just for instances like this where obviously one color is going to be on another brush so i am using a different brush so that i don't blend in other colors and i'm just making that um outline a little bit more green around the border of the rock here is the final product of the blending next what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a brush to go ahead and fill in the portions of the mushroom that i'm going to add starting here at the bottom kind of just looking like a little potter and then the second layer is going to be a little bit thinner than the bottom and the top layer is going to be overshadowing the center of the mushroom I do have a light mocha from Apple Barrel and I am adding it onto the white. Uh, remember, I'm adding it onto the white. Um, I'm not mixing it in or blending in the color. Have a little bit of, I think that this is like a, the official name is burnt ochre. Or I don't remember, but it's just a brown. Um, adding it into there and I'm also adding in some of that goldenrod um, yellow with the brown. Kind of just tapping it in to give it a little bit of texture wiping off the excess paint when i can i'm going to grab my pencil and i'm gonna just kind of um what is it called trace draw sketch my little mushroom top um bring it around town bring it around the mushroom and i am this is actually gouache so this what i'm doing right here is i'm painting gouache on top of um acrylic and i am doing two different types of red I do have the, I think it's called vermilion. I will add the list of colors that I use here um, at the bottom in a second. But I am mixing a little bit of the darker crimson red with some brown so that it does give like a little bit of, it pushes the back of the mushroom back and the front of the mushroom stays that bright red that we want to see popping out. Um, again, adding a little bit of brown and I'm doing this while the paint is still wet. If you do not, um, you know, if you don't have a comfort ability with blending, gouaches are probably the best thing for you because you can reactivate the paint with water and continue to blend. Um, really quickly, this is the red neon from Wanda and it just really makes that red pop. And so what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of that light mocha tan color with some white and a smidgen of black so that I can make this grayish looking color um, for the inside of the mushroom and then what i'm going to also be doing is i'm going to grab um some black add it on this is just a regular matte black uh, apple barrel acrylic and i'm going to grab a fine liner and i don't have a ton of paint on my brush but i am grabbing some water and kind of just using that to blend the black out since this is acrylic on gouache it is going to go ahead and try to pick up a little bit of the red but that's what i want i want it to blend in i don't want that harsh black line i wanted to give it a little bit of like a shadow up here at the top and i am just adding a little bit of black and then rubbing on uh 
like swiping off onto my um, towel here the excess of the color and just dipping my brush into water and using the paint that I have already on the stone to blend it out with the water. Um, this is just something that, you know, you're never going to really uh, truly get until you start to practice. You're not going to ever really learn anything unless you do. Um, so here I am just adding the little white spots that go on the mushroom, no particular order. Just add in a little bit of mush uh, mushroom spots here and there with white. And then what I'm doing is I am getting this um, green and I'm adding a little bit of brown. And I did um, dip my brush in water and rub off the excess. I am adding some uh, blades of grass here in the back. And what I'm doing now is I'm getting that previous yellow color that we blended in the background and I'm adding just a tiny bit of that brown green mixture um, to give it an even more of, a, of an illusion that you're pushing the grass back. Um, and so that's more towards the center. The center, I want it to be lighter grass and then around the mushroom and towards the bottom of the mushroom, I do want it to be a darker green. So I am gonna go in with the, the green and the brown and kind of just darken that up up here in the front and here you have my grass this is the fine liner pens that wanda sells on her shop and i know that it seems like, like i'm pushing wanda stuff a lot but like i am obsessed with her products i love that she takes the time to teach you guys how to use it and i i just love it i love that it's super affordable and um that her products actually work first of all <laughs> let's start with that her products actually work so I'm just adding in some lines. I added in the lines underneath the mushroom. I am outlining the black um, around the little dots just to kind of bring them forward. And I did add, add lines around the stem of the mushroom. And I'm going to add a black outline to the top part, the top red part. Oh my god, I can't ever talk. This is the um, Sherbert Kisses palette from her. Um, these are watercolor, so they are activated with water. What I did was I used a dropper, um, as used in my previous video, to go ahead and drop some of that. I'm mixing it in with some of her neon gouaches, actually. So I'm actually blending the colors together. Some of that yellow from the Sherbert Kisses and some of the neon, just so that this glows under black light. Um, and then I'm using a dry brush to, once it's not fully wet. Because if it's wet completely, it's just going to create a mess. So make sure that it's a little bit between wet and dry when you're trying to blend it in um, again i'm using the uh, pastel green that she has and mixing it in with some green just so that it gives the background a really pretty shimmer once i finish sealing this um, you can see it, it looks like it's glowing and what i'm also going to do is out of her unicorn shimmer i am mixing the white and then a gold um, from wanda as well and i'm going to outline the mushroom here I'm gonna use the dry brush and just kind of pat it, just tap it lightly. You don't need to, you know, do nothing crazy with it. Just tap it out so that it, it doesn't create a harsh line with the watercolor. Next, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna draw a little bit like of a back arched. This is gonna be the little fairy shoulder, um, created in like a little V shape. Here is her foot. And this is a line drawing. I really wanted to just make this simple for those of you guys that are, you know, a little bit intimidated with drawing faces, people, body parts. Line drawings are so simple and they're so beautiful because you can make them anything that you want. Um, my fairy did look a little bit like a little alien right here. So <laughs> once I started lining it in with the um, liner pen, I kind of just fixed it as I went. Um, I did her little, you know, cleavage here. I'm going to straighten her face out and I'm going to bring her hair down. Um, kind of just curl it down. The wings does not have to be perfect. You know, you can add or remove as many lines as you want. Well, not really remove. Once it's on there, it's on there. But you can add as many lines as you want. I kind of just wanted to keep her simple. Um, very whimsical. Very, I don't, I don't even know the right word to use. <laughs> here, I'm going to use some of the purple pink blue and i'm honestly not even really putting any like thought into what i'm pressing down i'm kind of just you know doing some blob shapes down here I'm gonna erase my outlines it did smudge the pen a little bit only because it was still a little bit wet um but i have not had any issues with this pen running or anything 
I'm going to add some white into the fairy and I'm going to make her wings a little bit pink. Just fill it in here lightly. And the white, it, you do not need to color her in completely. I kind of just added lines here and there. This is also the gold liner that is found inside of Wanda's shop. Um, I have tried the gold, the silver, and the white. I love them all. Using the liner pen to just kind of create line art with the flowers where my watercolor blobs are. And yeah, um, nothing too crazy. I went ahead and I added a quote. If you guys want to add a quote, you can. If you want to leave it alone, it's up to you. I just, I really like these for kindness rocks. If you guys tried this out, let me know. Um, I'm going to try to figure out a way to link all of the products that I used in here. Or at least uh, take a picture of them. But here's my final product. If you guys try it out, please let me know. Um, I really enjoy making these for you. Let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to focus on for the next tutorial. I hope you guys have a great week.